Welcome to Pia's Creative Corner. My name is Pia and this is about diamond painting. This video is going to be an unboxing video and it is unboxing from Diamond Art Club. I'm just, I just wanted to share with you uh, how the uh, shipping box looks like uh, and it, they do have them in different sizes. This one is one of the bigger ones. Um, and inside, of course, I have a kit. This one is a with round drills. But before I get more into that, I want to share something that I didn't know until recently. And that is that <clears throat> uh, inside uh, the packing or the shipping box, there is a packing slip. And uh, on that says what you have bought and your address and everything and um, and on the on the bottom of it uh, you will see there is a code for um, on for mine it's buy one get one at 50% off code and um, just so you know that if you buy a kit or more kits from Diamond Art Club just check your packing slip because the, the, it might contain a code for some saving uh, for saving your monies so yeah that's it okay um i know some of you who are watching this are the ones who are following me and welcome back to you if you're new to my channel welcome welcome i hope you will enjoy being here i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and uh will, then you will be able to follow me for more content and just follow me for the processes to make because i'm fairly new to this youtube world and uh, i've been doing diamond painting for some years but this thing about the youtube is new and especially the english side of it because I have had this channel for about a year and the first year I, or the first part of it, I have been speaking mostly Danish, but now as I have a dream about getting more subscribers, I know I have to uh, cater a bit more to the English side. So, and because I have, um, some of my international friends i want to give back to you um with some unboxing and some weapon chats and other fun stuff so let's get cracking so if it's the first time you get a diamond art club picture i can tell you that this is one with round diamonds i can see that because it's a round uh, symbol and because um the color of it down here at the bottom there is a picture of the canvas and this is the original picture um the title is blue winter wolf and it's by katie lipschkop uh it's a uh 64 by 51 so it's not a big one it's a small one or medium size on the back uh it says what it contains and here on the side there's a QR code where you can save 10% on, on your next buy. All the kits are plastic sealed, so I know that if anything is missing from this box, it's not something that has happened during shipping. It is something that has happened uh, at where they do pack the kits and make the the um, yeah all the kits and the canvas and stuff like that. So. Uh, and I think it was in the beginning of 2022, Diamond Art Club uh, started producing their own drills and that has made an immense difference to the quality of the drills. Um, so, inside here, oh, Hopefully there's a kit somewhere. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, come on. So inside there's this toolkit. And there's a oh, sorry. There's a course bag with a canvas and a small sticker. 
And what I do is I use a colored paper. And if you hear some noise in the background, it's just my stepson playing, gaming. And um, so it's just, we kind of share the room. <laughs> so that's just in being on with his, online with his friends and I'm online with my friends and that's how we share the room. So I'm just putting this on and I'm just looking because I thought I had a plastic bag but I don't. So I just have to find one of those. Okay first of all I just take this on and what I do is I store my drills and my canvas on separate places so to know, to be sure that the stones are paired to the right canvas, I do put the stones in a zip block bag with this in. I don't have anyone uh, with me right now, so I'm just going to find that out. Okay. This is a toolkit, and I learned a lesson with this one, is that I don't have to rip it open. <laughs> I have done that with multiple uh, toolbacks, but um, and that I think it's something to do with this, this one, and to me that means that I have to rip it just to open the bag, but I don't have to. I can just open the bag. So, inside. There is some stuff all you are going to use for your painting. Zip lock bags and you can use, I use them for my leftover stones or drills. You can use it for kitting up when you are starting a picture. You can use it to put uh, the sealed bags, um, plastic sealed bags, the stones are in when they come. Then you can just put these in, uh, put them in these uh, Ziploc bags and uh, put stickers on them. So that you could do. This multi placer, two, four and seven places. There's the pen and the squishy. And this is totally random what color you get. Uh, it has nothing to do with the picture or anything. And that's washi tape. It's a new one. I have never seen that before. You get a, a tray. These come in, this is kind of the old version. The new version is white and opaque. So I think I have one actually. Let's see. Um, just to show. This is one of the newer ones. Uh, and it is because uh, some of the customers have complained that they thought it was really hard to see the drills uh, if it was a it was a colored background uh, or they laid the surface was you know a white or a any color and then you put the same color drills in you can't really see the difference so. This one is better because it's white and opaque, so you can't see through it. It's same size, just a different color. So, yeah. And you get, whoops, pink wax in heart shapes and a box to have it in. And I will say, um, if you get hooked on this craft, uh, then you will store get to collect a, quite a lot of these so i have just given most of my uh collection of those pink wax cards away to a crisis crisis center for women in denmark women and children then there's a cover minder cover minder has a magnet on the back actually it has two so you can for instance uh, if you are, um, what you call it, if you're dividing your canvas or the plastic on, on top of your canvas with washi tape, 
you can use this one with the magnet to hold on to the part you are working on. Um, I'm not doing it that way, so I don't have any video, not yet anyway. I might try it, but uh, if you want to watch a video where you can see how you section off your um, canvas with washi tape, I will recommend you to go and watch, uh, watch Katie from Diamonds and Washi because she is really good at doing it and she has a good video about that thing. Okay, this is a smaller canvas and um, let's see, I, I keep the plastic bag and I keep the box, uh, cardboard box where it came in. So when I'm done, I'm just going to roll it uh, roll it again and put it back in the plastic bag and the box and then I can store it too. Before I usually, uh, I used to do like, I used to unbox about 10 boxes of paintings and then had them lay flat on a table or something like that. What I find is that it's really taking a lot of, a lot of space. So this is a more easy way for me to store things as I get a growing stash of diamond paintings. <laughs> so yeah, in here there is a folder where you can see how to do. There's a, oops, sorry. There's a QR code for the Facebook group. There's a QR code for any instruction videos. There's just some small tips and tricks to get started. On the back, there is a QR code for the app. If you do it, and I will recommend if you don't have it and you want to buy more, um, play, uh, do download this app. You get 20% off of your first buy. It's a good deal. So, okay. Um, this is one of the smaller sizes to me, but it's really beautiful. And here's a much larger picture of it. I love wolves. They are just kind of my uh, spirit animal, I think, in <laughs> uh, like uh, horses and dogs and stuff like that. It's really, I'm, I'm just more into that kind of animal, I think. If I should name three, I would say that the wolf, the tiger and the horse, I think, as a wild animal. Yeah, that might be those. Okay, on here you can write when you start and when you end. On this side, the stickers, they are pre-cut with the numbers, the DMC numbers, the symbols. Um, and in here there are two, two with AB cup uh, that has this AB coating and then there's one special stone. I don't know what that is. I have to figure that out. There's 41 colors and it's round stone. This is one of the newer kits. So um, I might be doing it, taking that and try to work that on that because I'm kind of curious to see how the newer round drill kits are. Oh, it's beautiful though. And yeah, it's it's really a small snack size. Um, I would say I could do this in about a week or two weeks or so, depending on how, you know, how confetti or how much uh, color blocking. But all this up here is color blocking, and so yeah, it's a good it's a good snack size. No, it's not a snack size. It's a good small size one. Um, all <clears throat> all diamond art clubs canvases is uh, they have this really soft plushy back and um, they are with port glue um, and it is a self-flattening uh, canvas that means that if I just gonna lay, let this lay here overnight it will just be flat in morning when I come in if I'm a bit impatient I can turn it around I can just roll it the other way and this I can do because it's port glue and because it's a good good glue so it's really good quality and see and if that's not enough I'm just gonna take and peel the plastic off I'm just gonna do it like this and that just make the last one 
Um, sometimes it feels like they have been a bit busy doing the canvas. So when I'm doing this, it's kind of I'm giving the canvas the opportunity to, and the plastic the opportunity to kind of meet in a good way. Where it is in the other end where I haven't done it, it's like the plastic is kind of holding a bit on the canvas. So doing this is just just giving it the opportunity or the chance just really to flare up. So yeah. Okay. This is beautiful. This is really, really a beautiful picture. I get kind of the vibes. I don't know if you have seen the one that's called Spirit, the Thought of Spirit Wolf, or with the wolf song, the wolf family. Um, it's it's a really beautiful picture, and I know that some of my international friends are um, in the process of doing it because it's such a big picture. It's something they take and do a little by little, so. And sometimes they put it away and do another picture and then they take it on the table again and do it a bit more part. Um, and that's what you can do with the big pictures. If you are handling or if you're pulling out a big picture with a lot of confetti and a lot of colors, um, don't stress about it. Just do as much as you feel is right and as long as you feel is funny and you are good with it. Um, don't do it as a, as you're like, you're obligated to it or like, uh, now I have started, I have to finish it in one motion. Um, you can put, put it aside and then do something else and then you will get the urge to do more on it and then you do it. Okay. The back with the stone is a really small, cute back, um, on the back you can see the title and the what you call it the number for the um, for the picture okay so I'm just gonna put it here. and I could because I could just reseal it put the stones back but I'm really bad at that so when I'm first if I have taken the picture black pictures the stones out of this plastic bag I just have to put them in another one because I can't I mean I can't put them back they never fit when I try okay well, these these those are beautiful really beautiful wow oh that's a special stone wow okay 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 <laughs> Of course, there's a lot of blue colors, but the white ones is not the usual white. I think it's 52. This is a more of an off-white, actually, I think. It's called 3865. And then there's these blue colors, but look at the shine at the stone. They are so sparkly. And here is the gray color, and here this is the one of the AP stones. It's a gray one, of course. The wolf is gray, so of course this is a gray one. And more gray, some blue, some green, there's some you know, some trees. And this is the special stone. It's a looks like what other colors crystals. Um, and they call it just LF fifty two hundred. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. And I'm a bit curious where to put it. Oh, it is going to be in the coat of the wolf. Yeah. Wow. Some more blues and greens, a bit static, but hopefully I can do handle that with the dryer sheet. It doesn't look too crazy. Then of course the blue, more blues, and blues in different shades. And this is where the, the confetti will be a part of it, because that will make 
the picture more um, three-dimensional when you get the depth uh, with the confetti in all the different shades. And the oh, these are really nice colors actually. And some orange. Where to put the orange? Maybe what do I want? Oh, that's the eye. Oh, so the red. These ABs are going to be a part. These two are going to be a part of the eye. This is a. It's more. And this is not a red. It's more. It's more like a. Ah, uh, salmon. Oh, uh, yeah, orange, red. More. It's not a deep red AB stone. It's more like an orange red or something like that. And then there's the rest for the green and grey and the blue. So gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Really, really, really. Um, and as I say, because this is one of the smaller pictures and because they have these special drills, hmm, I might be pushing about a about bit for doing this earlier than, than I originally thought for it. The thing is that I kind of decided that I wanted to do all these. I have about 10 canvases lying flat on my table in one of my other rooms. And I want to do all of those before I do all these new canvases. I have about, uh, I don't know, I have uh, some from last year that are some of the, from the last part of the last year. So it's from autumn and then from this year. So it's from about six to eight months, uh, the spanners. And I think that, well, they might be, I can't, I can't kind of push more than a couple of these sizes in between because the other ones are quite big. I'm doing a picture called Honey Drip Farm at the moment and I'm going to share a ribbon chat with that picture because it's really, really beautiful. Uh, and I think I'm gonna do the ribbon chat uh, probably one of these days. So this video will be up um, there, there will be kind of two videos uh, on my YouTube channel almost on the same time. Um, in that sense that I feel like um, doing this for the next days. I'm going to do Whip and Chat for, for you guys on the international part. And then I'm going to do Whip and Chat for my Danish girls. And boys um, so it's gonna be a bit of a hot push but I didn't do anything last week and if I really want to have more subscribers I know I have to be a bit more active on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram and ah, it's just to get the time and resources for doing everything um, but I really want to uh, so this was just a unboxing uh, for my international friends and I hope that you enjoyed it and if this is the first time visiting my channel I no worries there will be more content coming in English I hope you will bear with me that I might have some misspoken words or something like that but to me it's late in the day and I really wanted to do this unboxing and give this video to you and so this is just gonna I'm just gonna put this up on the YouTube channel as soon as I ended this video and hopefully you will see it almost the same day as I did the recording um, so that means it's actually Thursday Thursday evening Denmark time and then tomorrow, Friday, I will be doing some recording for my weapon chat for both sides. Uh, and then I will have, of course, my live Sunday. You're more than welcome to be there uh, if you are participating and you would like, 
would so he would like me to switch to English just write in the channel uh, in the chat that you are there and um, just write hi Pia um, I'm one of the international friends and I know that, that you will be there and I will switch over for the English because a lot of my Danish girls know uh, how to understand they, uh, they do understand when I when I speak the the English so it's it's okay it's no worries for them um, what I usually do is when I've done this I put my new drill stones in my plastic zip block bag I just have to find one I put this one in my binder I take a photocopy of it and I put it in the binder in so like this and um, then I, I store it and I know so when I'm looking for what to do next I'm just looking in my binder and then I can go in and put up uh, take the canvases so what I can see for instance is that <laughs> Um, I know for a fact that the next thing I am going to do is my uh, chores because I have uh, prepared for it and after that I'm either going to do seasons change or I might be doing generations. Uh, generations is a gift and um, I know that if I'm, you know, I have something coming like my cross stitch conversion and I know that this might be kind of a pressure point regarding that I really would like to do it but if I'm waiting too long I will be stressful about it because suddenly I know my the friend that is coming from Manchester to Denmark she would be writing oh, I'm coming in, in, in three weeks or four weeks and I'm not even close to be done with this one so and she has been talking about coming in the summer holidays so I thought that if I'm just being a, a bit uh, you know um, a bit wise about it I could do uh, I could do just this one and lay it aside and then you know it will be on my storage and I will pull it out and buy a frame or something for that when she's coming so it, she can have it. It's really a beautiful picture and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I love Lori Printle. She makes the most beautiful horse pictures I've ever seen. So yeah, but and, and here's the kicker about it because the seasons change is actually one I've wanted to do for a long time and it is one of the old ones. So yeah, you know, um, but I might be doing generations and then I'm doing Gemini and then seasons change and then I know that my cross stitch conversion kit will be, if it's not here, it will be close to be uh, um, here in the country and close to be landing at my address. So, and when that is here, I know that I will be doing that. And I have promised some of you that I will make some videos about my process, what I'm getting, uh, the package, and all how about to do it. Um, and um, But I also know that it's something that I have to be really, you know, um, good on my sleep and fresh and awake and... Um, so I have to have another one I can work on that's not that difficult but hey I have enough pictures before I kind of hit the limit for uh, the new ones I have a lot of uh, Randall Spangle pictures and I might be taking one of those at the same time so I'm working have to work in progress when I get to that point so but so far this was my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please join me on my Instagram. It's Pia underscore Creative Corner. And if you enjoyed this, subscribe. Please, please, please hit the thumbs up button, the like button before you leave. Thanks for all your support. Have a nice day. Bye.